These are the timelines of the tech news in this video. You can skip to the specific tech news or you can watch the complete video. You can find the detailed timeline in the description below. Hi, I'm Nanda and you are watching Code Yourself Tech. Vivo has launched a 48 megapixel 5G smartphone, the Vivo S6 5G in China and expected to launch by the end of May in India. The Vivo S6 5G comes with a 6.44 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 90.1% screen to body ratio with HDR10 support and comes with an in-display fingerprint sensor with face and lock support. The Vivo S6 is powered by the 8 nanometer Samsung Exynos 980 processor with 5G support housing a 4500 mAh battery with 18 watt fast charger out of the box. The Vivo S6 5G comes with a 32 megapixel front camera with a quad camera setup on the rear housing, a 48 megapixel main sensor, 8 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor, 2 megapixel macro sensor and 2 megapixel depth sensor. The Vivo S6 5G comes with electronic image stabilization so you can record stable 4K videos at 30 frames per second and slow motion HD videos up to 960 frames per second. The Vivo S6 5G comes in three color gradients. Danube, Swan Lake, and Jace Black. The Vivo S6 5G comes at a price tag of 28,700 for 8 GB of RAM, 128 GB of internal storage, and 31,900 for 8 GB of RAM, 256 GB of internal storage. The price will vary when the Vivo S6 5G gets launched in India. Asus has launched a dual screen 300Hz laptop, the ROG Zepress Duo 15 in the United States and expected to launch by the end of May in India. The ROG Zepress Duo 15 comes with two display configurations with a 15-inch Full HD display model with 300Hz refresh rate, a 15-inch 4K display model with 60Hz refresh rate and both models comes with a 14.1-inch secondary 4K touch display panel. When you open the laptop, the secondary display panel automatically tilts by 30 degree from the base which increases the airflow to the cooling system by 30%. The ROG Zepress Duo 15 comes in different chipset configurations with 10th generation Intel i9 or Intel i7 processor with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 or 2080 graphics card, DDR4 RAM support up to 32 GB and comes with M.2 NVMe PCIe SSD support up to 1 terabyte. The ROG Zepress Duo 15 comes with 90 watt hour battery with a 240 watt power adapter out of the box and comes with USB Type-C port charging support up to 65 watt of input. The ROG Zepress Duo 15 comes with Wi-Fi 6, 
Bluetooth 5.0, dual 4 watt speakers with high res audio support and comes with RGB keyboard lightning. The price tag of the ROG Zepress Duo 15 is not yet announced and expected to launch at a starting price tag under 250,000 Indian rupees. Samsung has launched the Samsung Galaxy M11 in United Arab Emirates and expected to launch by the end of May in India. The Samsung Galaxy M11 comes with a 6.4 inch HD plus LCD display with a rear mounted fingerprint sensor with face unlock support. The Samsung Galaxy M11 is powered by the octa-core processor housing a 5000 mAh battery with a 15 watt fast charger out of the box. The Samsung Galaxy M11 comes with 8 megapixel front camera with a triple camera setup on the rear housing 13 megapixel main sensor 5 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor and 2 megapixel depth sensor. The Samsung Galaxy M11 comes in three color gradients black, blue, and violet. The Samsung Galaxy M11 comes with micro SD card support up to 512 GB and the price tag was not yet announced. The Samsung Galaxy M11 is expected to launch under 9000 Indian rupees when it gets launched in India. Motorola has launched the Moto G8 Power Lite in Europe and expected to launch by the end of May in India. The Moto G8 Power Lite comes with a 6.5 inch HD plus TFT LCD display with water repellent design and comes with a rear mounted fingerprint sensor. The Moto G8 Power Lite is powered by the MediaTek Helio P35 processor housing a 5000 mAh battery with a 10 watt fast charger out of the box. The Moto G8 Power Lite comes with 8 megapixel front camera with a triple camera setup and the rear housing a 16 megapixel main sensor, 2 megapixel depth sensor and 2 megapixel macro sensor. You can record full HD videos at 30 frames per second. The Moto G8 Power Lite comes in two color gradients, Royal Blue and Arctic Blue. The Moto G8 Power Lite comes at a price tag of 14,000 Indian rupees for 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of internal storage. The price will vary when the Moto G8 Power Lite gets launched in India. Xiaomi has launched a dual camera smartwatch the Mi Bunny Watch 4 in China and expected to launch by the end of May in India. The Mi Bunny Watch 4 comes with a 1.78 inch colorful AMOLED touch display with different watch faces with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection for display and comes with a built-in AI assistant. Xiaomi claims you can get 8 days of battery life 
on a single charge and water resistant up to 20 meters depth. The Mi Bunny Watch 4 comes with 4G LTE support, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC support for payments, built-in speaker and mic for attending phone calls. The Mi Bunny Watch 4 comes with a 5 megapixel front camera for making HD video calls and there is a 5 megapixel secondary camera by the side for capturing HD videos and for clicking photos. Both front and side cameras comes with AI image recognition support. The Mi Bunny Watch 4 comes in two color gradients, blue and pink. The Xiaomi Mi Bunny Watch 4 comes at a price tag of 9,700 Indian rupees and the price will vary when the Mi Bunny Watch 4 gets launched in India. OnePlus is launching OnePlus 8, OnePlus 8 Pro by April 14th in India and globally. The OnePlus 8 Pro is expected to come with a 120Hz Quad HD Plus AMOLED display. The OnePlus 8 is expected to come with a Full HD Plus 90Hz AMOLED display. The OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro will be powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor. The OnePlus 8 Pro is expected to come with a quad camera setup on the rear with a 48 megapixel main sensor. The OnePlus 8 is expected to come with a triple camera setup on the rear with a 48 megapixel main sensor. The OnePlus 8 series are expected to come with a 30 watt fast charging support and the OnePlus 8 Pro is expected to come with a 30 watt wireless charging support. The OnePlus 8 Pro is expected to launch under 55,000 Indian rupees. The OnePlus 8 is expected to launch under 40,000 Indian rupees. Fitbit has launched the Fitbit Charge 4 in India and globally. The Fitbit Charge 4 comes with grayscale OLED touch display with customizable watch faces compatible with both Android and iOS platform. Fitbit claims you can get 7 days of battery life on a single charge and water resistant up to 50 meters depth. The Fitbit Charge 4 comes with Bluetooth 4.0 built-in GPS, NFC support for payments, optical heart rate sensor and other basic sensors for activity tracking. The Fitbit Charge 4 can be connected to your smartphone using the Fitbit app for controlling music tracks, for receiving notifications like messages and for attending phone calls. The Fitbit Charge 4 comes in three color gradients black, rose wood, strong blue black, and comes at a price tag of 14,999 Indian rupees. The Fitbit Charge 4 Special Edition comes at a price tag of 16,999 Indian rupees. The Fitbit Charge 4 will go on sale 
by the end of April in India and globally. Xiaomi has launched the Redmi Band in China and expected to launch by the end of May in India. The Redmi Band comes with a 1.08 inch rectangular colorful LCD touch display with 70 different watch faces. Xiaomi claims you can get 14 days of battery life on a single charge and comes with a built-in Type-A port for charging and water resistant up to 50 meters depth. The Redmi Band comes with Bluetooth 5.0, optical heart rate sensor and other basic sensors for activity tracking. The Redmi Band comes in four color gradients, black, blue, red and green. The Xiaomi Redmi Band comes at a price tag of 1100 Indian rupees and the price will vary when the Redmi Band gets launched in India. Xiaomi has launched a dual camera smartwatch, the Mi Bunny Watch 4 Pro in China and expected to launch by the end of May in India. The Mi Bunny Watch 4 Pro comes with a 1.78 inch colorful AMOLED touch display with different watch faces with Carning Gorilla Glass 3 protection for display and comes with a built-in AI assistant. The Mi Bunny Watch 4 Pro is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 2500 chipset with 1GB of RAM, 8GB of internal storage. Xiaomi claims you can get 5 days of battery life on a single charge and water resistant up to 20 meters depth. The Mi Bunny Watch 4 Pro comes with 4G LTE support, dual frequency GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC support for payments, built-in speaker and mic for attending phone calls. The Mi Bunny Watch 4 Pro comes with 5 megapixel front camera for making HD video calls and there is a 8 megapixel secondary camera by the side for capturing HD videos and for clicking HD photos. Both the front and side cameras comes with AI image recognition. The Mi Bunny Watch 4 Pro comes in two color gradients, blue and pink. The Xiaomi Mi Bunny Watch 4 Pro comes at a price tag of 14,000 Indian rupees and the price will vary when the Xiaomi Mi Bunny Watch 4 Pro gets launched in India. Huawei has launched the Huawei Watch GT2e in Europe and expected to launch by the end of May in India. The Huawei Watch GT2e comes with a 1.39 inch circular AMOLED touch display with navigation buttons by the right side with always on display support for displaying the time, notifications and powered by the 7 nanometer Huawei Kirin A1 chipset. Huawei claims you can get 14 days of battery life on a single charge and water resistant up to 50 meters depth. 
the Huawei Watch GT2e comes with Bluetooth 5.1, GPS support, optical heart rate sensor and other basic sensors for activity tracking. The Huawei Watch GT2e comes with 4GB of internal storage so you can store hundreds of songs and you can pair your Bluetooth earphones with the smartwatch for listening to music and for attending phone calls. The Huawei Watch GT2e comes in stainless steel, black stainless steel options and the watch straps comes in four color gradients graphite black, lava red, mint green and icy white. The Huawei watch GT2e comes at a price tag of 16,700 Indian rupees and the price will vary when the Huawei watch GT2e gets launched in India. Thank you for watching and if you like the video, like, share, subscribe, click the bell icon to get more updates and technology every day. Stay more and go ahead my friends.